Good morning, good morning. I know it's a late morning for me. Oh, it's already almost afternoon. <laughs> but welcome in, everybody. Thanks for coming in, guys, and saying what's up. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Chris. Hi, Granny. Hi, Abdul. Welcome. All right, and everybody else, welcome to Sam Loves Gaming. Appreciate you guys being here. I am playing alone in the dark today. This is day number two for me. Um, I don't know how many days it'll take me to beat this game, but I don't care. I'm having a really good time. It's a little scary, um, a lot of puzzles to do, but it's good to switch it up, you know, and to have something, um, let's see, to make your brain work, make your brain think, you know? So I like that. I'm getting these two plates, though. I'm working on something right now. Um, for the astronomical clock, I need one more plate, and then I need a few plates for a broiler that is broken. So I will definitely be working on that today. But this is a good day. I'm having a good one. Abdul will definitely get together sometime, okay? Sorry, guys. I'm just playing some other games. This year, I have a lot of different plans for my channel. Last year, we played a lot of Red Dead, but you know I love it. But today, it's all about Alone in the Dark. But welcome in. I appreciate you all being here. I hope everybody is having a good day so far. Like some kind of rot. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good week so far. It's already Tuesday. Tilly, thanks for saying hello. Hope you guys are all doing well. Greddy, my brother from Albania, how are you? Thanks for the visit. Appreciate you being here, bestie. All right, so I was working on this puzzle yesterday. There's a piece, I think the last piece of the astronomical clock may be in this little chest, <laughs> but I'm hella stuck. Um, like yesterday when I got off, I wasn't gonna look up how to do it or anything like that, cause what, that don't make games fun, you know? And I'm an old school player where I came back from back in the day, if you got stuck on a game, there was nothing to look up or to see anybody else play, <laughs> unless you knew any of your homies that were also playing the game. But this is what, it's something with the zodiac sign, but I can't find the right combination. Oh no, what happened? I mean, oh, let me see. Hold on, guys. I think I have to load my game. Let me see. I think I messed up. I'm missing some items. <laughs> And I didn't save yesterday when I left. Okay, this is when I got stuck in the garden. So let's see if we could find um, some things now. Let's see what artifacts I have. How come they have been archived? What's wrong with that? I can't look at anything because it's another day? Or can I? Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. Tilly, have you been behaving in St. Denis, says Tilly from the chat. <laughs> yes, I have been being behaving. You know, their cops have a heavy rep, so I try my best not to act up in St. Denis. Okay, all right, YouTube babies and YouTube fam, this is where I'm stuck. So I thought it was like Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Scorpio, but I can't find all of these symbols in that combination. So it has to be something else. What if it's, I should try the other side? Let's see, Taurus, Gemini, and maybe Leo? Because on the other side, those are things, maybe I'll just try some different combinations. Who knows, I'm probably missing a clue. I'm enjoying this game. It was really scary. Um, 
I don't know if I was killing like some sort of cracker or kraken from The Last of Us or if I was killing a zombie or some sort of mutant. It was really weird and hella scary. <laughs> Okay, I, I loaded the game that I had yesterday where I actually saved from the okay. autosave. Where did I get a wa- oh, I have a water hose. Okay. See, I, I have that big thing of keys from the voodoo man, but I don't know why it won't let me use that to multiple rooms. That was a big hook. Yo, Wasting Tech, welcome in, brother. Appreciate you being here. Hope all is well. Thanks for the visit. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Wasting Tech. Appreciate that. Okay, so here's the last plate to the astronomical clock, but I don't know what it would be. Nice, Greddy's a Capricorn. Nice, I am a Taurus myself. This month is my birthday, actually, in the end of April. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I'm going to try Taurus, Gemini, and Leo. Let me see if I could try that. What does Leo look like? Is it this one? I know that was kind of random, but that's kind of what I've seen over here. I don't know what this code would be. I found the other code really quick to get this little bad boy, but I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. Wish I could just hatch it. Wish I could just hatch it this plate out. <laughs> They said something in the room with the pictures, but I already flipped the pictures yesterday. I know somebody in my chat was speaking on that. But here's the pictures I made, but they have nothing for any um, zodiac signs. Because the combination on this little um, vanity is um, a zodiac symbol. So I'm missing a step for that. But maybe we could work on another clue that can help us get some more stuff. So there was somebody else, Cassandra. Cassandra's a patient here. We're looking for room eight, but the rooms ain't on the outside. But I know we have to find this room for a clue as well. Whoops. What the heck? Okay, nothing there. Abdul from the chat asked, what's the best chapter for me we played? Um, I like the chapter. I have not actually beat Red Dead Redemption 2 yet, the story mode. But I like when Lenny and um, Arthur go to the bar and you're looking for him and they tear it up in um, the saloon in Valentine. That one is my favorite. I hope I didn't get stuck on this game, guys, and miss a clue, because I can't go back to certain areas. Yeah, what's your guys' favorite chapter, though? Let me know. You know what? I never wanted the game to end. I loved the game so much. I played Red Dead Redemption 1 on my PS3 when it was first came out. My brother and I played the heck out of the, the first game. Um, but I just didn't want the game to end yet, so I went to online, and I, I just figured if I never beat the game, it'll never end for me. <laughs> so don't spoil too much. I know some tragic events occur, but, you know, still try to keep a little unknown for myself. Okay. Chapter four, nice. How do I get that door? You know me. 
Mr. Waits. I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. All right. So basically, guys, I don't know if I yesterday when I played, if you guys were watching, we um we looked at a picture, right? I'm a detective and I'm here helping out this young lady named Emily. And um she uh I looked at we're looking help looking for her uncle and I looked at a picture and I don't know if the picture may have cursed me or if the house is cursed. Because after I looked at the picture, we also went to, like, it seemed like the room or I went to a different dimension or something for a minute, you know? Okay, I can't use that. See, okay, so this is the plate we gotta get, guys. Oh, shoot. I, okay, I have to go back to the water well and get the other place. I need one piece for this and one piece for the astronomical clock. But I hope I didn't miss anything in the past room I went to. I really have to hate to start over. Because I had those keys and I should have came to the wine cellar right away to try to get in the wine cellar. I assure you. No, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. You, I, Mr. Hartwood is I, I nowhere near for, my kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick you out to, of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Welcome in, Miss Dixon. How are you, hun? It's been a while. Hope all is well. Thank you so much for the visit. Yesterday, I know these puzzles take a little bit of time, so we're working on this puzzle from yesterday. I have two, the astronomical clock, and then the, um, the broiler. We gotta get a piece for the broiler plate so we could turn that bad boy off. There is something behind that wall that awaits us. <laughs> Zafris, Zafris, welcome in. Hello and welcome in. My apologies, I'm not the best at enunciating names, so please forgive me. But welcome in. Hope all is well, guys. Feel free to help me if I get stuck somewhere. You may have seen something I didn't when I'm talking, laughing, <laughs> screaming at the game. So welcome in, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. All right. So that's the first plate, and I seen that in the very beginning. See, I'm pretty thorough, so I think I'm just stuck on a little puzzle right here. And then maybe I have to beat the other puzzle to unlock something else.
Okay, so that's the plate. I feel like I'm missing of the room though. I feel like I lost those keys though. I had that big hook of key, those key Need rings. Key. Now I can't enter. Okay, so here's one plate. Now we'll just need one more piece to the plate. June, what is up, sis? Welcome in. Thanks for the visit. I'm playing alone in the dark and I'm a dirty detective. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what's going on yet, June. It's kind of a jump scare. Kind of, I don't know if I'm jumping to other rooms, if the mansion's haunted, or if I'm cursed, but we got some weird voodoo stuff going on here, but it's, I'm having fun so far. Mm. Okay to coffee up and think where to go you know that I have not been that the map will allow me to go yo what's up AJ welcome in welcome in thanks for the visit AJ from the chat said Sam how are you there's no way I can get into this thing better leave it alone Thanks for asking. Hope all is well with you. Okay. Hmm. I need the key. What the heck? I missed something in this room from yesterday. <laughs> All right, nice. Nurse's watch. Did I get it? Calm, be. Hey, All right, I did. I did. I need Cassandra's room, but where the heck do I go to get Cassandra's room? You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Elisabetta Perosi, 33 years old? 
what should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Perosi broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some twenty years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is thirty-three years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar, because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early thirties. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Thank you, Doctor. Cassandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very... I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Dang it, Jeremy, dang it. Okay, I found a nurse's watch. Oh man. It's just crazy. Thought I was able to go out this window for a minute. Um, yeah, I believe we are in chapter two now. And Shammy is stuck. Sammy girl is stuck right now. I tried to go back to one of my other save points to see if I had missed something. I thought I did find a piece of this broiler, though. This boiler. Um, sorry. I don't know where the heck. Let's see. Man, I'm going to have to go back to my other saved point. Because I did have one piece there, and then I only needed one more piece to each, um... The astronomical clock and then in there the broiler room what the heck that's cold-blooded oh my goodness okay I'm trying to retrace my steps I feel like I'm missing something Where can I get a valve at, I wonder? Okay. Maybe I don't need a plate. I just need a valve for in there. Just double check in the dirty bathroom, making sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Try 
Trevor Murphy, what's up and welcome in. Thanks for being here. I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Hey, Angie, what's up? Welcome in, hon. How are you doing, Angie? You know what? I did not watch it yesterday. But I, I did see some of it online. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I believe I was streaming when it happened. But I hope you and your mom had a good time. Anybody else who's seen the eclipse yesterday? There's something in her room that will give me the combination, but what? I was thinking if I knew these people's zodiac sign, maybe, because it's a weird combo. It's a zodiac one. Um, man, I'm really stuck right here. But this isn't Cassandra's room. This is Elizabeth's room. So is there two pieces I have to get? Because I think this is Elizabeth's room. Because I had a key to room number six. Because Elizabeth is in room number six, right? Yes. See, Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay. And then Cassandra's in eight. But how the bloody heck do I get to room eight? I was hoping there's another piece there that could lead me somewhere else, but I definitely need this one. I just don't know this combo. the pictures may be a clue but what clue do they leave Greddy's always joking <laughs> Angie don't mind Greddy he's always teasing Greddy don't cut me off of my pie I wasn't acting up in um in La Grasse. I'm in the I'm in a whole other dimension. I'm in the game of Alone in the Dark. <laughs> Does this mean I have to shoot the shoot it or something like? Like how do I enter this door? That's weird when they have those ones. Does it just mean it's off limits to the detective? I see three names. I was kind of thinking that too. I was wondering if the three names, I have to find their zodiac sign and maybe that was the combination, but I did not see any information like that for them. Let's see what her diary gives off. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. 
but not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha Train. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay. There's not too much information I have about her, though. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. All right, I feel like I'm just missing a lot of tools and I'm really scared because I'm hoping I didn't miss tools I could get in that other dimension or room I went to that I cannot enter again. That's what I'm a little worrisome about because I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Like I know I have to get a valve, the knife, and I think I have like um, some um, keys. Like there's all these freaking keys and I had this big old key ring and I was like, what happened to it? <laughs> I thought I can open up all the keys that I got from that gentleman yesterday in the voodoo doctor shop. I don't know if it was a voodoo doctor shop, but that's what I'm going to call it. have to get the little valve and the piece that goes on there and do I need the plates I don't know if I need the plates to open the um that boiler to turn it off or do I need the um if I need them like just the handle the, the valve or something but then I can't enter this room anymore either that's a trip Went shot. Did that little radio just cut up? <laughs> that was pretty scary. Okay, guys, if I get stuck here, I may have to restart because I feel like I'm missing a part. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but this is my first time playing this game. I am taking my time, but still, I'm like, what the heck? I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I did not collect something I should have.
Oh, shoot. The order of the paintings give the order of the symbols. And I cannot do the paper, the, the paintings again. Oh, my goodness. It happened so fast, guys. I hope I don't have to go back. I may have to to get the code. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't want to have to start the whole dang game over again. Am I going to have to? I think I might have to, to be honest. I feel like I'm missing some pieces, but also I need that painting to get the code. Uh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna have to do that. It's wedged shut. Because I cannot get it to, um... I cannot. I just can't. <laughs> I have to do that code and I have to pay attention where I go to that room. Because I'm, lo I'm locked. Uh, I'm locked in on that puzzle. So if I don't unlock that puzzle and get that piece out, I can't unlock other stuff. Dang it. Alright, Abdul. Take, a, take it easy. That's okay. You have a good one, okay? Alright. Alright, I'm still in the beginning of this game, guys. Forgive me. I'm just gonna have to. I'm, I really am. We're doing it, guys. We're deleting all saves. I'm sorry to do that to us, everybody. <laughs> but I got impatient. Take two, guys. This is definitely take two. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at their setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? 
You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Okay, we're definitely gonna be this guy. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Hey, Ghost. Welcome in. Yes, I did start over, guys. I feel like I it won't let me see. I have to pay attention to the, the symbol when I flip the pictures to get the combination for that plate. And I feel like I missed a few things. Somebody was telling me to get a knife. Ambrose Gaming yesterday told me to get a knife and I didn't get a knife. And I feel like that would help me out too. Maybe open up some of those doors. I could no pry them open. Here. I could not come back into this room, but let me see if there's a valve in here I missed. Nice. I'm not too far off in the game, so I just thought I would start over. I can make up for it pretty quickly. But forgive me, guys. <laughs> I don't want to look it up or anything how to pass that. So I just thought I would start over because I feel like I'm missing a few things. But happy Tuesday. Thanks for the visit, everybody. Welcome in. Wasting Tech, that was a, that was a large gator in charge. <laughs> I wish I could look at items in first person. I really do. Okay. Is there a knife in here? Let's see. It would, Wasting Tech. That gator would make a fine, a fine coat. Yeah, we're here in New Orleans in the game. I believe we're in like the 1920s, 1930s. So we are definitely in the bayou. I need to learn how to holster my weapon. Is that a kitty cat in there? 
Ooh, that cat sounded mean. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to unlock that. No, wasting tech from the chat said, do you have eagle eye in this game? No, I wish I did, brother. That's why I started over because I, I had to uh, I had to get the um, a combination from some paintings that get flipped over. Huh? And I flipped them over and I don't know the combination. So now I have to make sure I be careful during that spark. Oh, my goodness. There's something creepy about this tree. You guys hear the whisper? I need a knife, though. I need a knife and a valve. That's why I also restart it. I feel like I'm missing a knife or a valve from somewhere. I'm playing the standard edition, too. Just standard mode. So I thought it wouldn't be too difficult, either. Don't mind if I do. Okay, is there a knife or a valve in here? Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? 
A goat without horns? What does that mean? Ah, uh, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Wow. June, thank you so much, sis. I really appreciate the $4 dono. You are awesome. Thank you. She said, happy birthday, my girl. Thank you, June, so much. I really appreciate it. You didn't have to. Aw, you guys are always so good to me. Ambrose Gaming, welcome in. I did start over. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm laughing at myself, guys. But I did start over from Chapter 2. Um, I wasn't paying attention to the combination from the pictures. And then um, I, I feel like I didn't look hard enough and I'm missing a knife and a valve. I feel like I needed to find the valve and the knife and I, I feel like I couldn't find them. <laughs> and I went to a lot of rooms yesterday. So now I'm going to be a little bit thorough and slower this next two chapters. Then I'll start rolling. You just don't want to miss any clues, you know? But I'm definitely having a good time on this game. It's nice to play stuff that can also make your brain think and stuff, you know? Do a lot of shooting games. You know, I love to shoot some guns and get paid, but I wanted to play this game and I'm having a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream as well. Thank you for being here. Okay, I hope I got enough from here. I hope there wasn't like a hidden knife anywhere. Bree, what's up? Welcome, hun. How are you doing today? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Whiskey in the freezer. Ooh, these guys got some cognac in there. They got some Hennessy. I know them bottles. I'm just kidding. Okay, um, let's see. Got this fancy line. What was that? Oh, so do I have to beat Emily's campaign too to get all the sets complete? All right. Can I get a bloody knife or a bloody valve? <laughs> Let's see. Make sure I didn't miss anything the first time I was in here. Just lots of ammo. Wow, they're really stocking me up. Their crawfish is burning. And they left the dirty dishes. Is that crawfish or St. Denis stew? How much ammo? <laughs> June said that stew looked old. How much ammo are they going to give me? I need a knife already. I need the key. See, I think I need to take those voodoo keys here first because when I got that the keys from the guy at the voodoo shop um i did not or it may have been the doctor's shop i'm sorry but it i didn't even try to come down here and he told me to come to this wine cellar 
Hey Pika, what's up Pika sis? How are you? Hope all is well and thank you so much for the visit. not figure out where to get a light a knife to save my life but I'm trying I'm trying okay okay let's see what's in there how come it let me open that but there was like nothing in there for me what's up with that Pika power. <laughs> oh, I found the nurse's watch there last time. Does different stuff appear? Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said, like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Oh, so there was a nurse's watch in the window when I loaded in. So I wonder every day if I load in or come back to the room after so much time, if there'll be something else there to find. That was weird. Because I didn't catch it yesterday. Okay. I have to make sure I'm paying attention with the, my combinations. Yep. Wedge shot. I need a knife. Hmm. Looks important. Okay, I really hope I'm not missing anything. I'm looking for a little knife or a valve. I don't know if I have to look at this next part I'm gonna go into though, you know? Hmm, I need the key.
Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. Look around. See if we can dig up any clues. Jeremy had gone. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the... Hey crazy, what's up and welcome. Thanks for the visit, appreciate it. All right, let's read what this one says. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that? Okay, now we read this one yesterday could go through the whole thing it's quite a lot yo what's up crazy i'm gonna i'm a detective and let's see um there's a lot of crazy stuff that be going on in here <laughs> we'll read that story again here in a minute let's see if i remember how to do this okay this is a puzzle from yesterday All right. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? <sighs> I would kill 
the guy throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Ooh. Miss Hartwood. Emily? What's up and welcome everybody. So this is where I don't know if the mansion is haunted or if it's the picture. Because he looked really strong at the picture compared to how Emily looked at the picture. Yeah, something crazy. Maybe the picture's cursed or the room? Who knows? Okay, this is why I kind of had to restart the game, guys. Because I feel like I was missing some stuff. And I may not be able to come back here if the house is shape-shifting or I'm going to different dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> June from the chat say, um, what did she say? Um, why he looks so horrified in that picture. I know, <laughs> it's pretty scary. Oh my goodness. Okay. June, did you see the, did you guys see the eclipse yesterday? Detective Kong. Okay, so when we come back from this little shenanigans, there's that room I go into with Cassandra's to get the Zodiac combination. Um, I have to be careful and make sure I really pay attention to the plates, guys. So I might need your help. We have to move these. We have to flip these pictures, excuse me, to unlock the plate, to get the combination to the vanity, to get the little piece of the plate. <laughs> but I'm still in the beginning of the game, so now I know I just have to be extra careful when looting and getting stuff. I missed it too, June, I was streaming. Oh, well that's pretty horrifying, that picture ripped off the wall like that. There's nothing in here, one last time. I need a valve and a knife because I need to fix the valve on the on the boiler. Oh my goodness. That freak took like three headshots to the dome. Corner, Sammy! Run, run! 
What is that? That's some scary stuff right there. I don't know what the heck that was. There's two of them? Oh my gosh. When I thought I was prepared, there was two. <laughs> oh, so scared. I don't know what that freak was. <laughs> Zombie mommies? Heck yeah, says June. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it was terrifying. I'm petrified. Now, don't tell me I got stuck. I've been getting stuck a lot in this game, yo. Did I get stuck again? I'm going to be so mad. What the heck? Guys, I got stuck yesterday in the freaking garden, and now I got stuck here picking up some ammo. This game. Don't tell me I'm going to have to save and reload. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Why do I keep getting stuck, yo? This is so crazy. Okay, this is a new game. I think it's barely been out for like two weeks. I really haven't watched anybody play it at all, to be honest with you guys. But I don't know if other players had this problem, but I got stuck yesterday in the garden. Now I got stuck here again. Now it wants me to run up here. I'm going to have to freaking quit. And Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> Why does this happen? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a scary game. <laughs> okay, let's continue back in. Hopefully, I'm not freaking stuck on a on a table. There's little collectibles and stuff to get, you know. Yo, what up? Welcome in. This is Alone in the Dark. I am a detective. And we don't know what's going to happen. Me and you me and you guys are going to find out. But at least I'm not alone in the dark. At least I have you guys in the chat. <laughs> Kratos broke the game, of course. Poor guy. He's not even in here or in the game. But we still love to blame him. <laughs> oh, let me make sure I don't have anything up here i got to get before I bounce out. The Olympian Squad, welcome. I appreciate the visit. Happy Tuesday to you. It's kind of like a puzzle. We just looked at a creepy picture, so it warped me to another room. I'm a detective, and I'm helping this young lady, Emily, um, find her uncle. But there's some weird voodoo. I don't know if there's witchcraft or the house is shape-shifting. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> but now I just jumped to some place where we're about to see Shizzy hit the fizzy. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, all I did was get him. Oops, why am I drinking liquor? Let's see if these freaks are out again. I just saved to restart because I got stuck, so hopefully I also saved those freaks that killed. They were scary. Guys, I'm looking for a knife and a valve though. I gotta find a knife and a valve. Gotta make sure I don't miss it, because I don't think I could come back to this um this dimension. What is that? Is that like a monkey or something in the background? Like, that is hella scary. I'm not gonna lie. I can't go that way. I need a knife. I need a knife. Let me just walk. Sounds like a horse. <laughs> Oh, Mal, what is that? A monkey? <laughs> June from the chat says it sounds like a horse. You're probably closer than I'll ever be. What's going on? Oh my gosh, that thing is terrifying. Whatever that freak is making noises. Oh, more health. Every game gives you alcohol for a health. I'm just kidding. Why is that? Trying to turn us into some alcoholics or something? 
I need a valve and a knife. That's kind of why I wanted to restart because I feel like, or I feel like I was missing supplies. I probably don't even need a knife or a valve, but or wait, I know for sure I need a valve to fix the boiler so I could leave that little area. Is that the valve I need? And I freaking broke it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it says weapon. Maybe okay. I should use that though. No, 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 no. Ah! I'm gonna save that pipe. What if that's the valve? And I used it as a weapon and broke it on the dude yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I could use it. Let's save it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if these things can actually kill me because I've gone pretty close to death yesterday. <laughs> Take a drink of this coffee. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm in the same dimension or world. <laughs> right before you came in, I looked at a scary painting and now I'm here. I don't know what happened. But I have a feeling I should keep that. I need a knife. That revolver is so tiny. I know. It's so foggy out here. It's pretty dang scary. All right, let's go talk to this man. I don't know what that was. Yes, I do still play Red Dead Redemption, um, but it, now that I have my PS5, you guys are gonna see me playing a lot of older games, newer games, whatever games I find that would be entertaining for me. So you will see me Monday through Wednesday this week, I'll be playing Alone in the Dark. Um, Thursday throughout the weekend, I will be playing Red Dead. And then if it takes me longer to beat this game, I'll be playing again next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But Monday through Wednesdays, guys, are going to be my new days for playing different games. Don't let them get inside, Carl Bear. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You a thinking man, Compare? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, Compare. Yeah, the Mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Okay, we got the keys, but yesterday I feel like I can, there's so many keys, but I only opened so many rooms. So I'm gonna try to get into the wine cellar. Finds Miss Jackson's place to learn more about Jeremy. Okay. Jeremy Talisman. Okay. And one for the library. Oh, I didn't make it to the library yesterday. And then I didn't have the keys anymore. A preserved reptile. Okay, I guess we're taking it. We're taking it. Kill them all with karma. Welcome. Thanks so much for the visit. Okay, is there anything in here that I may or may not need? By the way, young man, do you have a knife or a valve? Gotta fix the boiler. Okay.
Oh, let's be nosy. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. June from the chat says, um, why does he look like Uncle Aaron a little bit? Who, who's Uncle Aaron? <laughs> Wear my supper suit. I know, this guy has a really intimidating presence. I thought he was going to beat me yesterday. <laughs> when Anything I, came I can in. do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm all right if you see her. All right, I'm heading out. Be careful out there. Shoot, there was... The Tosselman, I have to get that little piece, that Tosselman. I don't know if I get it when I come back here or stuff. Now I'm scared I'm missing more stuff, so I better just take my time. Because I don't have that little piece. Miles Morales' uncle. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. And you know, I should know that too. That's my daughter's favorite movie. I th that's a good modern Spider-Man cartoon one, though. I really like that. I have not played the game yet. I don't know why I'm trying to close that. I guess I'll carry on my way. I'll take my happy ass right out of this shop. Peace out, Uncle Aaron. We'll see you later, Unks. Is there a valve or a tassel here? Be careful going into corners in this game. Corners be getting you glitched out and stuck. We already busted it twice and we haven't even reached chapter two yet. Just kidding. No, I think it was chapter four. You know, I played some of the OG ones too, like on my PS2, and they were pretty fun as well. Spider-Man games never disappoint. I really need some stuff. I, I, I got stuck, guys, and started the game. Um, I did beat past this part yesterday. Oh, great. We got a freak over here. That is worse than any zombie I've ever seen in my life. And it's still mutating and moving. What the actual freak. Gosh, that was pretty scary. I take a shot of whiskey now. That was something. That scared the pajeezies out of me. <laughs> Kill them all, Karma said. Wait, how did my mom get into your game? <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so funny. You guys are hilarious. Is a shark clicker from The Last of Us? I, I thought it was a clicker too, didn't it? I played a little bit of The Last of Us, so I thought they called those, those one freaks with, cl they call them clickers because they've been a zombie for so long. Come on, I need a valve! Anywhere in this damn store? Is there a hardware store or anything? Your girl got to fix a, a boiler. Come on. Never gonna beat this game. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck in purgatory in the first two chapters. It's just I want to find it myself, you know? So it's a beautiful thing about playing video games. 
I like being new and finding things out myself. Okay. Oh, snap. There's a hatchet. We got some more ammo, man. Just pistols and everything laying around. What is that? Oh, I can only keep the bar or the hatchet? What do you guys think I should keep? I think I should keep the pipe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep the pipe. But how do I go to my gun? I don't wanna use my pipe because I'll bust it. That sucks, I can't carry a hatchet. Now why does it why does it want me to ring the bell to a bike? Like ring the bell and drop me a knife. I can't go that way. Oh schnapperoony. <laughs> oh, thank you, Karma. He said we believe in you, Sam. <laughs> well, I did make it past this part, but when I go to this lady's room, Elizabeth's room, there's I flip these pictures and it gives me the combination because the combination is like the zodiac signs and there's three zodiac signs I have to type and the vanity is locked up and inside the vanity there's a piece of a plate I have to get for a clock. So I I kind of just started over since I'm so new in the game but I was like man if I miss that combination that's going to break the deal for everything. But it looks like I went somewhere else. in the game. I don't want this hatchet. Okay. Yeah, give me my knife. Give me my gun. So I came back to see if I could get anything else. Because they have these doors I can't go into that have a wedge. And Ambrose Gaming yesterday told me I needed to get a knife. So I feel like I also missed a knife somewhere in here. But I'm really having a good time. You know what I mean? always nice to play a new game I did buy this game a few days after it came out but I couldn't play it coughing like a crazy all right I got some freaks in here oh my gosh these guys are something else and this ain't no combat or shooting game this is a detective and a puzzle game so this game is not designed for shooting are moving quick. Oh gosh. That was scary. Sorry, I was so scared. I'm so sorry, guys. These freaks scare the heck out of me. He just walking up like everything is fine, man. <laughs> run, run, I know. Okay, I learned how to pick up this brick now. I think I could throw this brick at him. Is he coming down the stairs for me? Oh my gosh, this freak. He's trying to make it. I think he's stuck on the stairs. Did you ever find out what the sound is? No, I'm thinking it's these freaks. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh my gosh, these two, they did me dirty with the sneak disc. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they won't let me go! Oh my goodness, they're gonna kill me! Oh my gosh! Damn! That was Hood. That was the first time I died in this game. <laughs> that was scary. See, they were they were contracting some kind of plan up there. Dang, that was Hood. Wow. I think they're angry because we kept calling them ugly freaks. <laughs> oh shoot, did I light this dude on fire? How the heck did I do that? I don't even know how to play, but I'd be lighting people on fire. Oh shoot, I got bonfire night. Trophy earned. I'll take that bronze. Damn, I lit myself up. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, I am scared to go up there. How did I beat this part yesterday? See, they both want to team up on me. There was one, he just came out of nowhere right here. Okay, now I pissed him off. Oh, snail! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I'm all out of bullets. Oh gosh. All right, I guess I'm going to have to get that hatchet and start swinging. <laughs> that was so scary. Mm. And I only have six rounds. What's up with the six rounds only? Yo, what the heck? Why the hatchet disappear? That's cold-blooded. See, why this game be doing me dirty like that? <laughs> Take a little shot of my coffee. Oh, do I have the hatchet? Did it give it to me? Okay. Okay, I have the hatchet. Okay, okay, we got a hatchet, guys. I think we could do this. I think we could do this. See, I thought I needed to save that, that pipe I had. Oh, oh, I didn't get the hatchet. It's just the pipe. Okay, I better be careful. I can break this. Damn, how many hits does homeboy need? Jeez, Louise. Use the guns, then the pipe. <laughs> oh, this is a mall top. Okay, I better be careful. Swing, bad a swing. <laughs> well, yesterday I came in here with the hatchet, but I was trying to save the pipe because maybe I thought I could put the use the pipe as a valve to kind of fix um fix the broiler because that's where I got stuck at earlier. Oh my gosh. This guy needs to come down here. It's weird because you can't really hold these things. I have to hold R2 and R2 right here. Kill Moth Karma said dang slam it slapped slapped it like it owed you money, L O L J K. Sam, you slapped it like you owed it money. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this freaking freak. Yo, I'm gonna light myself on fire, but I'm gonna try. Oh, oh shoot, I didn't even get him. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I have to, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Damn. Damn. That was really something else. Ah, gotta find more bullets. Okay. There's another freaking cracker up there or clicker or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Tell you this game is something else. Got me all excited, all scared, all worried. I'm all out of bullets. Oh shoot, I can't I can't even kill this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then I miss him. I can't beat him with my, my fist? That's pretty messed up. God, this game is really realistic. Let me get a brick. 
This ain't as easy as it looks, folks. Let me tell you that. Because these bricks, they're like, um, you have to both pick them up with R2. You have to hold R2 and L2 and then aim at the same time or else you'll drop the brick. Oh my goodness. Your girl needs another brick. Gonna have to rock this guy like a zombie. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Bust some good, bust some good. Ah! I waited too long, I waited. What the heck is that creepy pasta? I don't know, it's some sort of freak. Oh my gosh. Whatever it takes, I got that trophy. I don't know if you guys can see the trophies. Let me know if you can. But I got whatever it takes for doing that. Bust it wide open. <laughs> I have no whiskey to calm my nerves or my health. Yo, what up, John Adams? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for being here. That was more hood than yesterday. If you watched yesterday's stream at this part, I just freaking flew by. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have no more drugs. Okay. Can I make it through now? Oh, we got some ammo, thank God. I need a knife now and a valve. Hey, you survived. <laughs> thank you. Hey, and I got a trophy too. That was nice. Maybe I would have had to go back and beat the game to get that trophy. It's almost like scary characters, Angie. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Is this a knife? What is this? Some kind of juju. Oh, what? Oh, there was a brick right here. Oh, we got some ammo. I need a knife, though. Is there anywhere where I could get a knife? I need a valve. Oh, I can't take that whiskey. Right here. More ammo. Looks like a can opener. <laughs> oh, I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's oh. see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. It's the talisman, like oh. the one in the paint. This is how I got it. Oh, I have to use the talisman to get back. Wow. Okay, is there a knife up in here? I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. All right, I think I remember the code from yesterday. You know, even though I'm a stoner, I might remember some codes or something. I think it's 583. Yeah? Or is it 538? Let's see. <laughs> Do I have to look at the book? <laughs> or did the code change? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's 358. I was almost there. Almost. I had it backwards. showing something a place okay. where is that where is it i don't know oh that huh. has the ripped picture is that here that that creepy ass door open for me that was pretty scary am i prepared for this am i prepared for this next journey let me make sure there's nothing in here i don't need Moto, thanks for coming through. You have a good one. I really appreciate it. Thanks for visiting me and hanging out for a while. Hope I made you guys laugh. Getting jacked up by some sort of freaks of nature.
Do I need to go back to the room before I leave? I know that's weird. But I better watch. June says, I usually watch Hello Kitty or play games. Do you watch Hello Kitty on, um, on YouTube? I know they had a new episode where we get to find out how my malady met Hello Kitty. I, I know, I'm a big nerd. I love Sanrio. I love Hello Kitty and Friends. So you guys know a little bit about me. But yeah, I, I am a big Hello Kitty fan. Oh, wait, let me actually go back. Okay. I feel like there's like a shank, a knife. I just want to look. Because, like, I've seen that weird room with the picture ripped down. But the only picture I've seen in this game that was ripped down. Oh, shoot. Look at this freak. Look at that. <laughs> no, I think it dropped, like, this past week or this past month or something. i just seen it, like, a week or two ago. But I always shop on the, the Sanrio site, the Hello Kitty website. So... Um, on their website when I was going to shop, I seen that they were talking about a new episode that just released. What the bloody hell is this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shoot. I'm all out of bullets. They want the booty me, lol. <laughs> oh shit, I only have one more hit. Um, you know what? I think there's something here though. I think that's why they wanted me to come back. That little room I looked in. What if there's something over here and I didn't catch it? I feel like there's something here for me though. Oh damn, I have to reload my gun. Are you serious? These guys are freaking coming! Leave me the hell alone, you freak! Oh my gosh, he could follow me in the house! <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> I wanted to make sure there was nothing here left after I said that. What's up, Kratos? Welcome in, brother. Later, and thanks so much for the visit. Gosh, why did I come back up here like a crazy? This dude's gonna freaking murder me. Should I save right here? Just in case I die. A room, one with a gun, you can find the... Oh, the knife! Wow, thank you so much! I'll try to look in that room. And I freaking check that room like crazy. Oh, shoot! Was that a good sneak disc? Did I make it? Go! Go, Sammy, go! Go, go! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, June, I am a big Sanrio fan. Heck yeah, I loved Hello Kitty ever since I was little, and I still do. <laughs> but I think my top three would be, or my top four would be, like, Hello Kitty, My Malady, Cinnamon Roll, and Goody Tama. Is he just going to stare at me in the window and not even help? And there's this freak chasing me? Oh my gosh.
Oh, I'm so scared. Run, run, and never look back at this place again. I'm trying to get a Hello Kitty plushie so bad. Um, P uh, Pika Heart, you know what it says? You order from the Sanrio site. S A N R I O, I believe is how you spell it. Sorry, I'm scared and my adrenaline's going. But that's the best place you can, um, you could get any Hello Kitty stuff or any Sanrio stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, let's go. Sorry, guys. I need a shot of coffee. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah. I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the Vieux Carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here, try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Why doesn't he ask me if I'm okay? I'm all bloody and messed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Detective Carney, how did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. 
you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something else. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you gonna be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. She didn't look at the picture, so she don't know. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Teruea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how... I don't know if I like the name of this set, Lost Children, but talisman we'll do works. it. Billy, what's up, Billy Dole? Welcome. Thank you for the pies. I really appreciate it. I'm a cherry pumpkin girl. Cherry pie and pumpkin. Greddy said, um, no pies for you, Sammy, if you pay your bounty. <laughs> Over 300K, almost 400K bounty? What? Or buy me a monster. I could release you from the bounty. Oh, no. What if they didn't have monsters back in the 1800s? Be careful searching for corners and stuff. You'll you'll get stuck like me. Well, I'm going to try the keys I got from Basti. What do you mean? Oh, so there's another clue in here. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Grace. Okay, that's why I was looking for Cassandra's room and I got stuck. I'm just making sure like why I have these keys if I could get to it. Dang, why is she hating? <laughs> I know. She was hating. I need the key. Oh, so Bassie's keys won't work here anyways. Okay, okay. So no matter what, there's still somewhere I have to get to. I have to get into another room to get that key. Okay. I assure you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I promise I didn't, you. I, Mr. Hotwood is I'm nowhere near my for... kitchen and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I, kick I you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Ooh, it sounded like June was in the room.
Oh, dang, she scared me. I know, she's hood. She's a mean old lady. I hope when I get older, I'm, I'm at least a sweet old lady. <laughs> I'm going to age gracefully, age happily. She's about to chop me up and put me in some St. Denis stew. <laughs> okay, let me make sure there's no more clues. Damn, they need to clean this bathroom up. This is a big, nice, beautiful bathroom. Pay top dollar to have a bathroom like that. And you're just going to leave it? Okay. It's a random glass there. Okay, is this where I'm going to find the watch at from earlier? That little girl told me to use my eyes. They were fuzzy while well, she was writing a note to somebody else. But I want to make sure, since I came back from that other dimension, there was a nurse's watch. There's some weird stuff here. Oh, locked medicine box. We still can't get in there. Okay. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed a Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Can I get a mic check, fam? Let me know if you guys can hear. It was weird because I was reading about the plantation. I was letting that sign gentleman read to us. And then the next thing you know, it just cut out. It's been doing that to me for some reason. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Sorry. Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1, 1907, Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desetto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. 
The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house.
what happened? Everything's normal again? Wedge shot. Got it. Nice. Hmm.
Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are co- Saw your notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. There's no way I can get into this. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces.
Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, uh, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective. And I'll scratch yours. Looks like everything's back to normal here. Centric. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return, Jeremy. Do I need to remember how to get them out again? They Paintings got some grim looking rock on them. Artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now.
There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Another plate for the past. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. 